Welcome to Android Development. My name is Don Felker, and in this Tech Pub series, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a real world Android application. We will take an Android application from concept to implementation on the Android Marketplace. At the end of the series, you will be able to install the application from the Android Marketplace and use the application on your Android device. But before we get started, you probably have a few questions that you would like to have answered. For example, why should I care about Android and developing for the Android operating system? The answer is fairly straightforward. According to various statistics from AdMob, the leading mobile advertiser who is now owned by Google, and Quattro Wireless, the second largest mobile advertising company who is now owned by Apple, the mobile market is increasing at a rate at which has not been seen in technology in decades. The leading smartphone platform at this time is Apple's iPhone. However, the trend is shifting towards Android. Why Android? Android is an open standard mobile operating system that is not bound to any single given hardware manufacturer or mobile carrier. This gives each carrier the opportunity to create an Android smartphone for their platform. This gives users more of a choice while at the counter shopping for a phone. What would you rather have? A phone that gives you internet, a global positioning system, Bluetooth, an application store and much more, or a regular phone which only supports sending SMS messages and accepting phone calls. Most likely you're going to pick the Android smartphone. With Android being an open platform, this means Android mobile operating system can be used on any carrier and on any device that is capable of running it. Therefore, it can be used for almost any purpose. A few examples of where Android is currently in use include mobile phones, netbooks, navigation devices, and other mobile devices such as Barnes & Noble's Nook, an e-book reader. This opens the door wide open for you as a developer, entrepreneur, technology pioneer, etc. Imagine the possibilities that you now have with this mobile operating system. Most Android devices also have advanced hardware components to complement their basic telecom features, such as an accelerometer, a GPS, which is a global positioning system, a camera, a video recorder, microphone, high-speed internet, and Bluetooth technology. The second question you may be wondering is, how much can I do with this phone? This is up to you and your imagination. As an example, what if a medical company decided to create an application for the Android phone that allowed the phone to communicate information about a patient back to the doctors so that the doctors could proactively watch the health of their patient? This is very feasible with the Android platform. Consider the scenario where a patient has a heart replacement. The new artificial heart contains Bluetooth technology that allows external communication so that the doctor can read what has happened over the last few weeks since the patient has had their last checkup. An Android application could be created to connect up to the artificial heart replacement via Bluetooth and then send that data back up to a web server, which could alert the doctors of any concerning issues in real time. This Android application would be installed on the patient's Android phone. As long as their phone is kept within a certain number of feet of their body, the system would allow and would be able to capture this information. Since most people keep their phone in their pocket or purse, this is not an issue. This can be compounded further by allowing the Android device to also send GPS coordinates of where and of what time this information was recorded. The doctor may be able to determine what is happening to a patient when they visit certain locations. This is a simple example of how much the device can do given the tools that it provides. The third and final question most people have is, how hard is it to develop for Android? This is the best answer yet. It's simple. The tools to develop Android applications are free. They run on Windows, Mac, and Linux. The Android framework is based on a high-level Java programming language which allows you to be very productive. To demonstrate how easy it is, I'm going to create a simple Hello Tech Pub Android application right now. I have already installed the tools and frameworks necessary to develop Android applications. I'm going to start Eclipse. Eclipse is the IDE or Integrated Development Environment that allows me to develop Android applications. Once Eclipse is started, I will select File, New, Project, from here, I'll select the Android folder, and from within the Android folder, I'll select the Android project that I'd like to create. Select Next. This is the new Android project creation wizard. Please note, the Android SDK has to load in the background, and you can see this down towards the bottom here. This will take a few moments to load. Once the Android SDK content has loaded successfully, we'll continue with a new project creation. The project name that we would like to show up within Eclipse is going to be Hello TechPub. This is what you will see when you are working within Eclipse inside of the Package Explorer. We want our file to be stored in the default workspace. And we're going to target the Android 1.6 framework. The application name that we'd like to show up within the application is Hello TechPub. The package name is com.techpub.hello. 
This is similar to a namespace in .NET. And the activity we'll call main activity. This is the entry point to the application. Select finish. If we expand the hello tech pub folder, we'll see that we have various folders. The first folder is the SRC folder, which is the source folder. It contains a package by the name of com.techpub.hello and the main activity.java file. This is the entry point to the application. There's a gen folder that's managed by the Eclipse SDK. We're targeting the Android 1.6 framework. We currently do not have any assets associated with this Android project, so this folder is empty. Now we have the res folder. This is the resources folder that contains various drawable folders. These drawable folders contain visual resources that help you target low, medium, and high density devices. We have a layouts and values directory as well. The layouts directory contains the XML layouts that define how the GUI is to look. The values contain various string values that you would like to use within your application. These are also known as string resources. So therefore you can provide localization and internationalization for your application. Opening up the strings XML file, we have a basic editor here that allows us to edit these string values. There are two values that are pre-populated for us. Hello, which says hello world main activity. Let's change this to just hello tech pub with the exclamation point. And then we also have the application name that's going to show up on top of the application. And that's app name. It says hello tech pub. And let's just change this to our first tech pub app with an exclamation point. These values are referenced from within inside both the Android manifest for the application name and the hello value is referenced from within inside the main.xml file. Opening the main XML file, we will have a very basic GUI editor. This is the GUI that will be displayed when the application is first started. As you can see, we're using the hello resource here called hello tech pub. If we look at the source on the bottom tab, by selecting main.xml on the bottom tab, we'll see that we have a text view. This text view is contained within inside of a linear layout. All this will be described in future episodes. The text view allows us to output text to the screen. The text that we're going to output is inside of the string resource, hello. At this point in time, it will be hello tech pub. We have everything we need to get running with the application, so let's run the application. Go to the run menu, select run, and then run, or you can press control F11. This will provide us with a dialog that asks us what we would like to do. In this case, we just run, run an Android application. This will fire up an Android emulator. And once the Android emulator is up and running, it will start the application for us out of convenience. So as you can see now, our application is now started. The title of our application is Our First Tech Pub App. And we have Hello Tech Pub.